Hello, welcome to the very first edition of your favorite program, Relationship Talks. So here today, we're going to kickstart this engine with something very beautiful. I want to introduce you to the six P's of relationship that you should consider before getting into one. Very important, six P's. Just to remind you, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, we'll be glad to have you subscribe. Uh, by clicking on the red subscribe button over there until it is grayed out and i want you to feel welcome to go ahead and like um the comment thumbs up um our video and of course to go ahead and comment down there if there is anything you have to put in or questions if you have any would also appreciate it a great deal if you go ahead and share with us um, share with people um, on our behalf the lord bless you as you do so the first p of relationship is perfection yes 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 you heard that and when, in this occasion when i speak of perfection i sp i'm speaking about maturity okay to help us in everything we're going to be talking about today um just of course i believe you know that it is god's desire that at some point in your life you get established in a relationship uh, that would be destined for marriage and of course that you have a great marriage also that is why there's a scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the fifth verse, the second part. Now the whole of um, the beginning part of that chapter speaks about time. So there's a time for this, there's a time for that, there's a time for this, there's a time for that. Then it reaches the fifth chapter, the fifth verse, the B part, and it says there's a time to embrace and there's a time to refrain. In fact, before that, just before that, it actually speaks that there's a time to love and a time to abstain from love. Relationship is a key and essential part of our lives as human beings, as social beings that we are. So getting it right is important. And that is why you need these six Ps. I'm going to rush through them. And if it's necessary and important, if I get enough nudge from you, I could go on and elaborate on subsequent videos. The first, like I said, point is perfection. By perfection, yeah, I do not mean that the person have to be perfect. That's in the word perfect, perfect. There's no such person or things. Um, not in this human flesh, but when the Bible speaks of perfection many times it speaks about maturity It's important that before you begin to consider a relationship and before you even begin to consider some of these things in other person and the opposite sex That you first consider it in yourself Have you attained perfection? Are you maturing? Are you mature enough for a relationship? Have you reached such a level to say yes now? I am ready for a relationship not because you are 18 not because you are 25 it has nothing to do with that remember it's human lives you're going to be dealing with you're going to be relating with another person who has spirit soul body emotions and everything so it's important that you be mature before you be able to begin to consider how you deal with another person so that's the first thing maturity or like i call it in my p language perfection the second point is your personality second point is personality by personality i mean your personality do you understand your person do you understand yourself now let me say this at this point by the grace of god these are very important points that i did that i used before i even thought of getting into a relationship and of course um eventually settling down in marriage with my beautiful wife i considered my personality i knew myself i see a lot of people who don't even know themselves who try to get into a relationship and make a mess of it and hurts themselves and hurts the other person you should never be in a really you should never be in a hurry to get into a relationship with another first and with another person the first person you want to get a relationship with is yourself have you matured point number one secondly do you know yourself there's a common saying man know thyself do you know yourself do you know who you are do you understand how you work because it is that person or that personality that you're going to bring to the table when you do finally get to relate with another person so um you want to ask yourself these questions ah uh, do i know who i am do i understand how i work do i understand why i do what i do do i understand how i function point number three plan p number three plan 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 what are your plans the clearest plan when it comes to entering into a relationship is marriage when do you plan to get married it's important because the ideal thing and recommendation as a pastor and what you tell people is you want to try to get into a relationship when you are about say three three years 
to marriage that's to say if you plan to get married in three years time then you want to start getting into a relationship now okay of course that means every other p and every other thing has been considered and it's and you have taken taken a note of them so very importantly you want to know what is your plan when do you plan to get married if you plan to get married in five years time in 10 years time perhaps it may be wiser for you to wait till when you are closer you don't want to um, keep someone waiting for too long and you don't want to keep yourself waiting for too long and you don't want to give the devil an opportunity to tempt you and that's why he says there's a time to embrace and there's a time to refrain there's a time to love and a time to abstain so practice abstinence practice refraining for a while while you work on many other areas of your life point number four um, is your principles what are your principles what do you stand for the same man that doesn't stand for anything in particular will fall for anything when you're coming into a relationship it's your principles you're bringing in do you are you a person of principles any person who does not have a, have principles will go for anything the reason why a lot of things happen that are not right and that eventually go south why relationships go south if you check properly there were no clear principles um not of the not of a nor of b and so when they came together there was no walls it is principles that made you principles it is principles that make you principles principles will make you principles in your relationship okay principles will make you principles in your relationship it will help you to excel so my recommendation is make sure you're a person who is principled take time to develop principles in your life what you stand for build walls what you so so the first time you are meeting with someone or when you begin to decide to even um let's say date somebody you are dropping your principles you are laying them straight up you know things like you know okay um sex is not an option for example you know no kissing no touching no smooching no ransacking no looking for what you did not keep there you know um things like that why because that's what you stand for no late nights no sleeping over don't invite me over to your place you know to spend the night or anything you know um no 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 awkward positioning or we being in awkward places that can make me lose my faith and so on and so forth i don't want to hurt you intentionally and you, and you know i expect the same from you so things like that when you stand for something then you have something to bring to the table not just i love you i love you i love you it's not one of the p's you know as you can notice it doesn't start with a p love eventually comes love grows um so that's point number four point number five are your priorities your priorities what is your priorities priorities at that point of your life at the point of this at this moment of your life and i'm speaking to you what are your priorities i always um, tell people what are your priorities um if you know your priorities if relationship you don't want to get into a relationship at a time when relationship is not yet your priority relationship comes and will become a priority at the certain phase of your life at a certain age at a certain moment when you are ready for it so if it's still not a top priority if you cannot afford to put make a um put it first above everything else then maybe you should it's not time for relationship yet it's not time for you to be thinking such things because a point will come in your life and that's how god has ordained it where relationship becomes a priority so um a lot of people of course when i say this i expect that you already know how to prioritize and you know what's important at whatever age that you are in so you want to um if at a time where you cannot afford um certain things you don't you you don't want to put those things there in your life that's what priorities is it are putting is having a scale of preference having a scale of preference so if for example you're at the phase of your life where making money is more important because of everything else because of the family you come from because of the family you want to have because of the kind of life you want for yourself and for also your uh, your spouse or really person you're in relationship with then you want to do those things first so that is definitely um very very important the last p very important point number six is preparedness how prepared are you it is those who prepare in life who when opportunity comes know how to take advantage of them god wants you prepared so when we speak on and advocate for people being single for people waiting and other things you don't just wait you want to be preparing yourself there are many ways you can prepare yourself for the man or for the woman of your dreams when they eventually come so they can meet you in a prepared state people are going to be attracted to you based on what you are bringing to the table especially if you are bringing the right person let me say this um no 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 hard feelings or no no intention to hurt, hurt any person at a certain point of your life because of your principles because of your personality because of your what you stand for um you may seem like you are not attracting people to your life so much but that's because you stand for th for something you are not cheap things that are not cheap people that are not cheap don't always get the attraction of everybody or the crowd so you must realize this that you are worth a whole lot and that is what the whole essence of preparedness preparedness is what differentiates 
um, how do I say it? One car model from another car model is what different, differentiates one house from another house. When your worth and your value, spend the time, this your youthful age or this age of your life, while you are still single and waiting for a relationship, spend the time building yourself to levels where you can say you have increased yourself in value. You have prepared yourself enough for the man. The man does not have to come before you prepare yourself for him. She, you know, you don't have to see him yet. There's a whole lot you can do. You can prepare with books. You can do so many things. This is very important. Now, when you have all of these P's in place, the first place you want to start from is you. And if you have fixed these P's, then you will find out that when it comes to deciding, I'll make a complete uh, teaching on that um, on a different occasion. But when it comes to deciding who you want to marry, because you already know your priorities, you look for somebody who aligns. Because you know your person personality, you look for somebody who aligns with your personality. You don't want to be somebody who is lost and you are looking for somebody to find you. You don't want to be somebody who is lost and you don't even know what you want. This is the reason why sometimes people attract things that they do not need. Because of time, I'm going to have to stop here. If you have any questions, if you want me to elaborate more on any of these, I'll be glad to do that. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, remember to share the link with somebody. And I promise you, we'll still be coming again and again and again because God wants your relationship blessed when you eventually get into them if you are not already in them. Until then, until next time, God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.